In this video, we will demonstrate how to log in to your UW Trumba account and show basic navigation. First, go to the UW homepage. On this page, click on News and Events and select Calendar. On the Seattle Campus Calendar page, scroll down to the bottom of the page and in the lower right corner, click Calendar Editor Access. You will then be prompted to enter your UW NetID and your password. This will then bring you to your Trumba account. Within the Trumba account, you may see one or more different calendars. This is where we'll then show you how you can navigate around your calendars. On the left-hand side of this account, we have a training calendar. Notice it has a black check mark. That denotes the active calendar. When you add an event to the calendar with a black check mark, the event will be owned by that calendar. On this account, Notice we also have calendars with a green check mark. This means that what you're viewing in your Trumba account are other events from other calendars, but those events are not necessarily displaying on your calendar. For example, notice these events in green. They're green because they're owned by UW Seattle Campus Events. When I uncheck the green check mark, those events will be hidden. Now you'll notice we have events in pink. Those events are owned by the UW IT calendar. When I uncheck or hide that green check mark, those events will also disappear. You'll now see that we're left with just training events and holidays. The yellow events denote events owned by training. The purple events are owned by holidays. When I uncheck holidays, I will only see events owned by the training calendar. The purpose of having these green check marks is for you to turn on and expose all of those events from different calendars shared with you. So when you're adding an event, say, to the training calendar, you can see if an event you're adding may happen at the same time or same place as another event on your calendar. Under Calendar Tasks, select Manage Your Calendars. On this screen here, you'll see another listing of all of the calendars shared with you. You can quickly just select that calendar and navigate to that calendar where you can now add events to that calendar.